And with these fresh fears of political violence, there's many questions about the future of Twitter with Elon Musk at the helm. Musk confirming today he will be the new CEO and he has officially dissolved Twitter's board of directors, according to a securities filing just today. And this weekend, he was criticized for tweeting a link pushing a conspiracy theory about the attack on Paul Pelosi. It had racked up more than 28,000 retweets before he deleted it. And today, Musk tweeted, if I had a dollar for every time someone asked me if Trump is coming back on this platform, Twitter would be minting money. Now, Musk didn't answer that question, but KPX 5's John Ramos reports it is only adding to the speculation about where Musk may be taking one of the world's most influential platforms. Elon Musk has more than 100 million followers, so he's one of the loudest voices on Twitter. But what happens when the guy who preaches from the town square suddenly owns the town square? After just a few days at the helm of Twitter, Elon Musk has raised concerns about his intentions from both inside and outside of the company. One man who claimed to be a fired employee posted a tearful tweet about being proud of banning Donald Trump from the platform. But it was this tweet, giving credence to a bizarre right-wing conspiracy theory about the attack on Paul Pelosi, that has people wondering if Musk understands the gravity of his new position. I'm very concerned, especially about the the sort of the tone of his most recent tweets, that, that he's still sort of jokey and snarky. Irina Raiku is the director of Internet Ethics at the Markula Center at Santa Clara University. She worries that Musk hasn't considered the difference between using a social media platform and owning one. It seems like um, he hasn't yet sort of made the transition in his own mind from a heavy Twitter user to somebody who is really now responsible for the content moderation policies and everything that you know happens or doesn't happen on the platform. Musk describes Twitter as a kind of national town square and often stresses the importance of freedom of speech. But that has some worried that it could devolve into a platform for dangerous misinformation. On the sidewalk outside Twitter headquarters, just as on the platform itself, opinions varied widely. People take their self-esteem from uh, how people react to what they post and uh, can be easily influenced into doing less than legal things. It is what it is, and I would not want to see, you know, any social media platform become just like extremely politically one-sided. I have no reason to trust Elon Musk. He's an unpredictable person, and I don't understand why he wants Twitter, so I guess we'll find out. Musk, like a lot of tech entrepreneurs, is not afraid of a disruption to the system. Tech engineer Philip Morgan shares that feeling and says he's fascinated by what Musk's next move will be. As far as I'm concerned, um, it's it's a shakeup. I'm I'm curious, like how's it going to turn out? And you yeah. you don't mind shakeup? I, I like shakeups. Sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. For those who are fearful of Musk's influence, Raiku offers this: the world has changed since the days of a few powerful media companies. Now people have a lot of choices, and if Twitter turns too many people off it could be headed for a financial disruption of its own. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Here's some more information. Musk paid $44 billion for Twitter, and observers say if national advertisers start pulling out of the platform, that could also influence the direction of the company.